Let me start with this F12 TDF, Porsche 918 Spider. Appreciate every single detail on this F50. Jeez, I've never seen a Carrera GT with a roof scratched that badly. Undercover is a Waira Roadster. It is just a very unique car. The Ferrari Enzo, and here we have the Ferrari F40. Hi there guys, my name is David. You're watching Viva La Automotive, and today I have yet another video from here, the sunny Monte Carlo. And today, I thought I would walk you around some of the most incredible garages out here in Monaco with the hypercars and supercars inside of them, of course. So stay tuned and watch until the end of the video. We are not even at the coolest cars inside of this garage, but already we've got this incredibly special Porsche 911 Targa. I don't know what exact year it is, but it's got the yellowed out headlights as well as a pair of extra headlights as well, which make it, which make it look even cooler. And then here we've got a Fiat 500, but then on the opposite side of the garage, we've got this Renault Turbo 2, which is a road car inspired by a race car. It has even got the racing like livery with all the sponsors, Philips, Elf, and the names of the drivers and inside there's a full-on roll cage and these wheel arches just look at how wide the car is from the back you can clearly see that it's not your normal Renault as a casual 48 spider just rolls by Continuing on the other side of the garage, we have got this Ferrari 348, I think. But that's by far not the most special thing here, which are these two rally-inspired cars. Uh, one more uh, Renault Turbo 2, this time without the racing livery and without the roll cage, but still incredibly special and just look how wide it is. And it's got a tan, not tan, like a beige interior as well. Looking absolutely stunning here inside of the garages. A piece of racing history. And then right next to it, we've got its competitor, the Peugeot 205 T16 from the same era. It is pretty limited. I don't know how many of them were made, but it is worth around $200,000 in 2020. Once again, wide and body. I don't think it's as dramatic as with the Turbo 2, but still, it's visible. Just stunning seeing these two cars side by side. The worst thing about trying to spot cars inside of the Monaco garages is that you can wait, literally walk for hours and not find the car, or at least the car that you're looking for. Because for example, now I'm in a garage where the RM Sport F40 and some other cars should be parked, and I found a bunch of other cool cars. Like for example, there's a Ferrari California, but yeah, I don't know where the F40 is. And pretty much all of the garages in Monaco have 12 or so floors. So just walking through them is, takes a lot of time. Under the cover here, we have got the Ferrari Testarossa with only one wing mirror. And then next to it is the Mercedes 500 SL or SL 500 from the 90s. I think this car just looks so cool with the two tones of gray. And then here we have got the Ferrari 612. Was never really fan of this car, but at least this specific example has got the red interior, which looks pretty nice. And then just a few parking spots away from these cars, we have got this Ferrari 308 GTS, which is finished in pretty much exactly the same spec as the Ferrari 612, with a black paint and contrasting red interior. What the hell is this thing? It is a Renault, but without a windscreen, without any roof, with only two seats. So basically the Ferrari Monza, but from Renault, and from what looks like the early 2000s. Take your McLaren Elvas, take your Aston Martin Speedsters and your Ferrari Monzas. This is now the car that I want. As you can see here inside of the elevator, this single garage has got nine floors. So nine floors for me to walk through. <laughs> no surprise that I'm already tired. The worst thing about parking garages in Monaco is that A, they are freaking huge. B, it is really hot in them, so that's why I'm sweating. And C, they have like 12 floors. So it takes such a long time to walk through all of these 12 floors and find the car that you're looking for. And I still haven't found the F40 yet. And I was in this garage before, I just don't remember where the F50 is parked. 
a few moments later. Okay guys, so an update, still haven't found the F40 yet. Um, I feel like I'm walking in circles, like this is some sort of a maze. And uh, yeah, just hope I'm going to find it eventually. I've got good news for everyone. After like 40 minutes inside of this garage, I have finally found the cars that I was looking for. The F40 isn't here, but at least there's a GT2 RS, Carrera GT, uh, Mercedes-Benz SLR, and an Aventador SV in the back. As it turns out, my strategy, which was going all the way down and then walking slowly back up, was wrong because all of these cars are parked up in level A, or in other words, the level which is closest to the ground. But at least I found the Turbo 2s and the Peugeot 205 T16. This Porsche GT2 RS is one out of just 991 units made. It is finished in lava red, or in, sorry, in guards red with the titanium wheels and the titanium roll cage. So full on race spec. And as I noticed after just looking at the details of this car, it is pretty badly scratched here in the back on the wing. And it goes all along all the way to this side. And then there is a bird poo right here on the side of the car. And then the Carrera GT right next to it is one out of just 1,240 cars, I believe. And it is finished in the silver paint, pretty standard for the Carrera GT. But look at the roof. Similarly to the wing on the GT2 RS, it is pretty badly scratched as well. I don't know what the owner is doing with this car, but Jeez, I've never seen a Carrera GT with a roof scratched that badly. I love how when the wing is up, you can clearly see the exposed carbon fiber here on the wing. We are in the next garage and I can already tell this is going to be a good one because on the first floor we have got a silver GT2 RS, a Lancia Stratos, Aston Martin DB9 and a Ferrari Dino. Alright, so the spec on this GT2 RS is pretty boring. It's just basic silver, titanium wheels, Wysak back, but just have a look at this Ferrari Dino in the back. This is the first Dino that I've ever seen which is yellow and it has got a matching yellow headlights as well. Absolutely stunning and also has only one wing mirror. And then here, one car that I forgot to mention is this Lancia Integrale, finished in this sort of dark green slash blue. And this car finishes my combo with the Renault Turbo 2 and the Peugeot 205 T16 because it is yet another car which is inspired by the Rally B Racing. Okay, so I know that in this garage there should be a Ferrari F40 and a Ferrari Enzo and that they should be on the first floor. But I've been walking on the first floor for like the last 10 minutes and haven't found them yet. It is such a maze, but I think that we might be on the right track. Okay, quick edit. As it turns out, I wasn't on the right track at all because there are two floors inside of this garage which are painted yellow, uh, minus one and minus three. So I'm now on minus three and hopefully the cars are here. Okay, so I found the cars in the end, but sadly they are both under the cover. So here we have the Ferrari Enzo, one out of just 400, and here we have the Ferrari F40, its predecessor, one out of just 1300, I think. Both under cover, but both stunning hypercars from Ferrari and both million plus dollars. Just a quick little look at the map should roughly show you just how big the garages in Monaco are and how hard it is to find the car that you're looking for exactly on the floor, I guess. Okay guys, so I am now on the minus nine floor of Bozio parking where the MC12 should be parked up, but there is also this incredibly rare Ferrari. I don't know if you can, if you've already guessed what Ferrari it is, but it is the Ferrari F50. So in today's video, we already have the F40, the Enzo, the F50. Look how many like super rare and expensive Ferraris are in public Monaco garages. Last time when I was here, this car wasn't undercover and so I could appreciate every single detail on this F50. But even undercover, the shape of this car is just so recognizable with this huge rear wing and the curves. But anyway, this is one out of 272, I believe. 
But let's now go and have a look at the Maserati MC12, which is one out of just 50, so the rarer out of the bunch. And it looks like we're going to have to search for the next car, because this Maserati MC12, which I am looking for, used to park at the number 843, and I am at number 843 right now, and there is only this Kia Picanto, which is for sure not the one out of 50 in the world hypercar that I'm looking for. Um, yeah. I guess let's try and find it. And so I finally found it, the Maserati MC12, one out of just 50 in the world, based on the Ferrari Enzo, and worth around $3 million. And it is parked up here, completely uncovered in a public garage in Monaco. To be completely honest, I didn't enjoy the looks of this car for a very long time. I just felt it was a bit too long, a bit too wide, the proportions were just not right to me. But nowadays, I just completely love it. It is just a very unique car, you have to give it that. And compared to the Ferrari 208 under the cover here, it just looks like an absolute spaceship. But that's everything for this garage, say bye to the MC12 and let's now move over to the last garage on today's list. All right guys, so we have almost made it towards the end of today's episode in the garages of Monaco. Thank you very much to all the viewers who are still watching. And because best things come at last, we are in the best garage with pretty much the best hypercars of today's episode. So let me walk you through some of them. So, let me start with this F12 TDF, finished in Rosso Corsa, with this black and silver stripe, these TDF rims with this red surround, and standard Nero interior. Here we have got an Aventador SV in this sort of matte black or grey with the four exhaust looking absolutely aggressive. But once again, this is not the best car of the bunch here, because right next to it, and sadly undercover, is a Waira Roadster. A Pagani Waira Roadster, one out of just 100 ever made, and it is in one of the most incredible specs on a Pagani which I have ever seen. It is in this blue, visible carbon fiber, with the gold wheels and gold accents all around the car. You cannot really see much of the details here now because the car is undercover, there's cameras everywhere, I don't wanna uncover it, but I'm going to post some pictures on the screen right now so you can appreciate this car. I think that this is one of the nicest uh, Waira Roadsters ever made, so yeah. But that's still not all because then there is this uh, Porsche 918 Spider, one out of just 918 ever made. Let me have a look at the number of this one. It is number 749 out of the 918. It comes without the Weissach pack and finished in the standard silver with the exposed carbon roof. So these were all the cars that we were lucky enough to see in the garages of Monaco today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you now at least understand that even the garages under Monaco are pretty freaking crazy when it comes to supercars. And I mean, these were only the public garages. There's way more, way more in the private garages. So for example, Lewis Hamilton has his Zonda and his blue P1 in a private garage here under Monaco, but you cannot enter. And if you do, they call police on you immediately. So this is pretty much the best that a standard non-VIP person like me can see here in Monaco. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for automotive content from Monaco and elsewhere every week. But that is everything for me for today. Excuse me that I'm sweating so much, but it is so hot in here right now. That is everything for me today. Hopefully, see you next time.